Here we have base of x is equal to cosine of 3x squared, and we want to find the derivative of uh, f of x, of h of x, using the chain rule. And so first, let u be g of x, be the 3x squared, and it'd be 9x squared, because 3x times 3x is 9x squared. And then now we need to do the uh, derivative of u, And this would be 9 times the, the derivative x squared, just 2x. So we get 18x. And then we have f, g of x, which is f of u. And this is equal to cosine of u. Because we call u... Uh, 3x squared, and so f of u would be cosine of u. And so the derivative of f of g of x, which is the derivative of f of u. And recall that the uh, derivative of cosine of x is negative. Uh, sine of x. And so derivative of uh, cosine of u be negative sine of u. And then this is negative sine u with u is 3x squared. And so the derivative of h Is uh, by the chain rule is the derivative of f of g of x times g prime of x and then times 18x. And then we can rewrite this as minus 18x times this. Here we have h of x is 5 times the cosecant square of x, and uh, we want to find the derivative of h. And so first, let's rewrite this. This can be rewritten as 5 times cosecant of x squared. So now we want to let u be the cosecant of x. And we call this g of x. And so the derivative of the cosecant, we call it, we have a uh, formula for Cosecant is going to be the de a derivative be negative cosecant times cotangent. And so f g of x is to be f of u. And this is h of x right here, and we call this right here u. And so this becomes 5u squared. And so the derivative of f of g of x, which is the derivative of u, of f of u, and this will be 5, and then the derivative of u squared is 2u, so we get 10u, and this is 10, and then u is this, u is cosecant of x. 
So we get 10 cos times cosecant of x. So h prime of x by the chain rule is the f prime of g of x times g prime of x. So it'll be 10 secant and then times g, g prime of x. So here we got 10, and then here we got negative, so that's going to be negative 10, and then this is cosecant times cosecant, so we can write that as cosecant square x, and then times cotangent x. Here we have the function h of x is 3x minus 4 times uh, sine of pi of x squared. Right, so let's do the derivative. The derivative for 3x is just 3. So the derivative here is just 3. Derivative 3x is just, uh, derivative of x is 1, so 3 times 1 is just 3, and then minus, and then we need to do the derivative of this part. And so for this part right here, we can let u be this part. And so u prime or the derivative, and then uh, we can rewrite this. This is uh, pi square times x square. And uh, pi is just a constant, 3.14159. And so pi square is still a constant. And so this will be the constant pi square, and then times the derivative of x square, which is 2x. So we get 2 pi square x. And then f of u, remember that we, we're doing the derivative just on this part right here, because we already did the derivative of the 3x. So in the place of uh, pi x square, we have u. Okay, that's what we call it u is. So f prime of u the derivative right here and be four and the derivative sine of u is cosine of u. And then rewrite this in terms of x. So this would be cosine u is this. And so now the derivative for the whole thing, this will be uh, u prime times f of u prime. It'd be f of u prime times u prime by the chain rule. So this would be 4 times cosine of uh, pi x square, and then this is 2 pi square x. So this would be 3 minus, and then uh, this is 4 times 2, so we get 8. And then we have the cosine of pi square x, pi x square. 